no one else in this world is going to help me promote myself other than myself. And people say to me all the time, like, how do you do everything? How do you do everything? How do you do everything? I'm, I, to me, I'm like, how do you not do everything? How do you not wake up early and get excited about your day? You can call me a self-promoter. You can say I'm full of myself. You can call me narcissistic. Well, if you're gonna say that, then narcissistic is the new humble. No one else in this world is going to help me promote myself other than myself. I have to scream every success or every achievement or every non-success actually from a mountaintop because no one else is going to do it for me. That's what I learned when I first came into New York City. I tried to be an actor. No one gave a shit. When I first got my real estate license, no one gave a shit. When I first got on the TV show, no one gave a shit. The phone didn't ring over and over and over and over. I had to then go out onto the street, go cold call, knock on doors, and tell people, oh, hey, I'm Ryan. I'm that salesperson. Oh, I also have a TV show. It helped me just a little bit, but I still had to consistently promote myself over and over and over and over and over again until I was so exhausted that I hit the pillow, and then I was excited to wake up and do it all over again tomorrow. Like that is the business today. It's nonstop, forever content, reminding people what you do, why you do it, and why you. I mean, that's really what I do I, at the end of the day. Like, I, I'm just reminding people through the vlog, through the book, through the two TV shows, through running down the street all day long, why me? So the minute they're ready to think selling, the minute they're ready to think real estate, they think me, and they don't think that other person that they just bumped into. Bragging in today's day and age is good. Bragging at the true heart of the word, the definition of the word, which means self-promotion for your own achievements. Bragging means success begets success. Bragging is good for the human emotion to let people know that what you're doing is good and that they should work with you. I think the definition of the word bragging, the connotation of the word bragging has to change. And if you're not promoting yourself in some way, somehow, every single day, and not looking in the mirror and telling that person that you're gonna do as much for them as you can today to make sure that next year, five years and 10 years from now, their life is gonna be better, then you need to break the fucking mirror because you're playing a different game. watch the vlog to this point, I want to meet you, okay? And we're going to do it two separate ways. It involves books, obviously, because the book comes out right now, right? It came out yesterday. And if you don't buy the books, I will die. So for one, buy the book, tag me in it. I want to repost it. I'll love you forever. But here's how I want to meet you. We're going to do two ways. If you buy a hundred books and you send me the receipt to ryan at ryansirhant.com, you can come to my office and I'll meet with you for 45 minutes. We did this back in the spring when we first announced the book for the pre-order and I met with so many people and it was awesome and I wanna do it again, all right? 100 books, send me the receipt, come to my office, we'll hang out, I'll talk to you about whatever you wanna talk about for 45 minutes. And if you have a company or if you work at a company that is a sales force, buy 500 books and I will come to your company. I'll give a speech, I'll talk. That's actually a really, really, really good deal. Got it? 
100 books, come to my office. 500 books, I'm coming to your office. That's it. Buy the book. Ready, set, go. Oh,